Now, if you've been following my channel, you know I've been checking out a lot of these AMD Ryzen laptops, specifically the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5, which I really love. And then a little bit more premium, of course, is the HP NVX360 that was running the Ryzen 5. Now, I actually wanted to check out the 15-inch version. I know a lot of you also did, judging by the amount of inquiries I've been getting over the last few weeks. So I ordered one, and it just arrived into the studio for me to check out. What I love, of course, is the fact that this is running the AMD Ryzen 7 4700U with integrated Radeon graphics. And so far, I've been really impressed with it. And it also has a beautiful 15.6 inch Full HD multi-touch display. It also comes with an MPP 2.0 pen. That's Microsoft's latest Microsoft Precision Pen 2.0. And it's actually been pretty good. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and first look at the all new HP NVX360 15 inch all new for 2020 coming up want to see more videos like this why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell this way you'll be alerted every time i upload a new video make sure you follow me on social media especially twitter and instagram i'll post all the updates on those platforms and why not join my new discord server it's a great place for me to interact with the community and i'll post updates there as well Hit that link in the description below. And today's video is brought to you by our new members who have contributed this month to help support the channel. If you're interested in becoming a new member, hit that join button below. And of course, as I always do in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. Now, pricing starts at $599. That gets you the Ryzen 3. I decked it out with the Ryzen 7. You could also get it with the Ryzen 5. Now, with that Ryzen 7, I have the 4700U processor. I got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. There are two sticks, so it's dual channel. I have 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. I elected to go for the Wi-Fi 6, so that's even better. And I also opted to get the MPP 2.0 pen. That's a $30 premium as well. All that comes in at a grand total of $1149.99 US. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy it. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Lifting the lid, let's start off with the 65 watt power adapter that uses a barrel pin connector and they also give you an extension cord. You get a setup guide along with some warranty information and I opted to get the pen. Now the pen is the HP rechargeable MPP 2.0 tilt pen. That's a $30 premium over the normal HP pen that they would give you uh, if you didn't opt to get that. Now we'll go over that later on in this video. Now holding the unit for the first time, it definitely feels very high end and very premium with its all metal build. Now I have to say I really like that nightfall black color. It gives it a nice sleek and modern look, although it has a tendency to attract fingerprints so you will be wiping it down quite a bit and of course as we always do we'll check out the port selection we'll start off on the left side we get a 3.5 millimeter headset jack an HDMI 2.0 port a drop jaw USB a port and a USB C port that does data charge and display out moving over to the right side is a full-size SD card reader and the card sit flush with the device I like that another USB a port and finally your power port now of course you won't be finding a Thunderbolt 3 port on this device since this runs an AMD processor. Now to put its size into perspective, here it is next to the HP Spectre X360 15T, which I recently reviewed. As you can see, the Spectre is a little bit smaller, but not by much. But one thing both devices do have in common is they both have a 16 to nine aspect ratio. And here it is next to its smaller sibling, the 13 inch. And as you can see, this 13 inch is actually quite smaller than this 15 inch version. And here it is next to the Dell XPS 15. And as you can see, the Dell XPS 15 9500 is actually a little bit smaller than the NVX 360 15 inch. And here it is next to the Dell Precision 5750, which is the same as the XPS 17. And as you can see, it's smaller, of course, than that 17 inch laptop. Now you can get inside this laptop, but you will have to be careful. Now you're going to want to remove the strips on the bottom. They're rubber strips that you want to reattach later, so be careful. Underneath those are Phillips head screws. Remove those. And there's one T5 Torx screw that is exposed. You want to remove that. Once you do that, you can pop off the bottom plate and you're in. 
Now, once inside, you'll notice it has dual fans for cooling, so that's good to see. And it also has two slots for the RAM. This is dual channel RAM, and I like to see that. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 RAM, and that's pretty good. And the SSD is also upgradable, so that's good. And the Wi-Fi card is slotted in, so you could also upgrade that. Now, I opted to get the Wi-Fi 6 with Bluetooth 5.0 combo, and it's all working well so far. And I'm really happy to see that the RAM is upgradable on this one, unlike the 13-inch variant. And as with most 2-in-1 convertibles, you cannot open this with one finger. The hinge is really too sturdy, so you'll have to use two hands. Now, as far as the keyboard itself is concerned, I'm actually really liking it. Pretty good tactile feedback, and I like the key travel. I think it's actually pretty good. Now, it also has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment, and that's always good. Now, it also has a numeric keypad, so for those number crunchers out there, you're going to really appreciate that. That also help you get work done. And so far, I'm liking the precision touchpad. It's actually working really well. Two-finger scrolling is buttery smooth, and all the gestures are working as advertised. Now, when it comes to display, what we're looking at here is a 15.6-inch Full HD IPS display. Now, there are two options for this display. You can get one that's 250 nits, or you can get the one I have here that can get as bright as 400 nits. Now, I actually measured uh, pretty much 400 nits on this, so that's pretty good. I'll give you all the numbers as far as the color gamut, as far as the color accuracy in the full review. But suffice it to say, this is a bright display with very good contrast, very good viewing angles, and it is excellent for consuming media. Media. And as you can see, this is a glossy display. Not too bad, though, in terms of reflections or unnecessary glare. And it also has some pretty slim side bezels, a thin top bezel, and a little bit of a chin on the bottom, but not too bad. It's actually pretty slim as well. And to me, they definitely hit a home run with this display, that's for sure. 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is the front-facing camera on the HP NVX 360, 15-inch with the Ryzen 7 processor, uh, 720p, 30 frames per second webcam. Uh, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. I think it's good for Skype, good for Zoom, any kind of video conferencing. You're working from home. Uh, this actually probably can get the job done. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, unfortunately, the camera is not an infrared camera. That means you cannot log in with face recognition via Windows Hello. But there is a fingerprint scanner located on the keyboard, and it actually works really well, registering my finger each and every time I used it. It also gives you a nice added layer of security. And just like the 13-inch model, there are dedicated buttons to turn off the webcam as well as the mics. And just like other two-in-one convertibles, you could put it into the tent mode. This is great for recipes in the kitchen, consuming media. Same goes for the stand mode. And of course, you could always put it into the tablet mode. Great for use with the pen. Now, so far, the pen is actually working well. This is the Microsoft Precision Pen or MPP 2.0. It's a newer standard and it uses the Entrick pen technology, same as a Surface Pen. And it's actually good for taking notes, sketching out artwork. It also is good for the handwriting recognition that is recognized in Windows 10. It actually is working pretty well. I'll go more into the pen later on in that full review. And the pen sort of sticks magnetically to the side, although not very secure. Now, when it comes to audio, it's actually been pretty good so far. It has three speakers. It's audio by Bang & Olufsen, and it also has the HP Audio Boost. The volume is good, good mids, decent bass. It actually sounds pretty good, filling up the room rather nicely. Now, my unit, of course, as I mentioned, is running the AMD Ryzen 7 4700U with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigs of SSD storage. And my initial testing so far, less than 24 hours in, it's all looking good. I'm also impressed with the thermals so far. Of course, I still need to do all my full testings to bring you that in my full review. Okay, I have a lot of testing ahead of me, ladies and gentlemen, but 24 hours in, I'm impressed with this. Between the display, the processor, the integrated graphics, the adaptive sync support for gaming, it's all looking good. Now, the couple of negatives, of course, there's no Thunderbolt 3 on this, there's no IR camera, but those are not real deal breakers in my book, at least. This looks like a real winner so far, and I look forward to putting it through its paces. So what do you think about this bad boy, the NVX360? 
15 inch variant here for 2020 and so far super impressed with this right out the gate now what i love is this gorgeous nightfall black it's a really nice color it does show some fingerprints as you probably can see on this video uh, but you will be wiping it down but when it is clean it's absolutely beautiful nice sleek design not the lightest or thinnest uh, 15 inch convertible but definitely feels premium and that's exactly what we want to see now as far as that display is concerned you're looking at a 15.6 inch full hd display that gets really bright that looks good it has really good colors good color accuracy of course i'll bring you all the numbers in my full review but so far very impressed with it the 24 hours in now as far as performance with that amd ryzen 7 4700u all looking good on that front and so the thermals are looking good as well so i'm looking forward to really pushing it to its limits to see if there's going to be any thermal throttling see how temperatures are and i'll bring you those numbers as far as the battery it has a 51 watt hour battery and i will put it through its paces to see what kind of longevity we can get out of this two-in-one convertible but i'm curious to know what you think let me know in the comment section below now i also like the fact that the mpp 2.0 pen the microsoft precision pen 2.0 is included in the box it's the same technology as a surface pen with a usb-c charging you don't have to worry about getting many batteries or anything like that great for taking notes great for sketching out artwork supports tilt functionality as well so if you're a digital artist out there this may intrigue you of course but of course i'm curious to know what you think let me know in the comment section below so please hit the like button please subscribe please share this video don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below let me know how i'm doing let me know if there's a device or something out there you think i should review i'll do my best to try to make that happen don't forget to check me out on facebook twitter instagram and of course my website amdtechreviews.com so until next time this is andrew from amd tech see ya